morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. Today we will solve word problems using addition. Now we've done a little bit of addition, so let's warm up our minds real quick and do some quick finger addition. If I have two fingers and I add one more finger, how many fingers do I have? You are correct, we have three. Let's do one more quick one. I'm not gonna show you any fingers, you're just gonna do it in your head. If I have three plus one, how many do I have? Correct, I have four. So today, let's look at some word problems and let's write an equation to go with them and we will solve them. Brayden has three hats. Gentle has two hats. How many hats in all? Well, we know it has to be add because it says in all. So I'm going to take the first number, Brayden, he has three. And then gentle adds two. And then that equals, hmm, you can use my fingers. I could use some other objects, so let's use our fingers. Three plus two, one, two, three, four, five. Good job. And you're gonna write the five. Wow, my pen is not working so great. Let's look at another word problem. I'll take this one down for right now. This one says, Raylan has two dogs. Josiah has zero dogs. How many dogs in all? In all means addition. So let's see, Raylan had two dogs. And then I'm gonna add Josiah's dogs. He had no dogs. And that equals how many? Two plus zero. Two plus zero is two. Now, you could also write this equation if you want to write zero, well, sorry, zero plus two. It's still going to equal two. It doesn't matter when we're adding if the two is first or the zero. It doesn't matter the order that you put the numbers. So let's do one more. Olivia has two fish. Christian has four fish. How many fish in all? Well, in all tells me what, right? That it's an addition problem. So I'm going to take the two numbers that's in my word problem, four, four. I'm going to add two to it. And that's gonna equal, huh, I don't know. Do this one right quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know that this one equals six. Okay. Thank you for following along and looking at our word problems that we do addition with. Please have a parent to make up some for you or maybe even better, you could make up some for another adult in your house. Hope you're having a great time at home. Hope you're practicing your math facts and enjoying them and we will see you soon. Take care.